If you wanna grow your YouTube audience this year, there are new rules and new tools you need to know. I'm gonna take you along with me as I upload a video to show you all the things you need to do to make sure that video grows your audience for years to come. And I'm so excited to tell you that I'm partnering with my friends at TubeBuddy for this video. You know that I love TubeBuddy and you're gonna see some of the really cool new things that they are offering to creators like you and me. And when it comes to growing on YouTube, there's really like four things you need to keep in mind. One, you need to make videos that people wanna watch. Two, you need to optimize those videos for the YouTube algorithm so YouTube understands who to show that content to. Three, you need to entice those viewers to click on your video. And four, you need to keep them watching and keep them engaged. It's actually pretty simple if you think about it. All right, let's dive right in. We're gonna be uploading a video on my other channel, Jen Jager Pro Tutorials. Let's start with the first principle we talked about, which is that you need to make videos that people want to watch. I wouldn't ever waste my time making any videos if I didn't understand that there was an audience that was hungry for that content. But how do you know that? I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to figure out what people wanna watch on YouTube. In YouTube Studio, click on the Analytics button on the sidebar and then navigate over to this new tab called Research. YouTube now shares with you what people are searching for related to your channel's content, and it suggests topics that it thinks could be successful for your channel. Now, if I have an idea for a topic, I will type it into this field here, and it shows me actual search queries that people have typed into the YouTube search bar. Now, this is a good start, and I do appreciate that YouTube has added this feature, but in my opinion, I don't think it's detailed enough. This is where I would reach for one of TubeBuddy's tools, which is called the Keyword Explorer. And so what I would do is navigate to YouTube, and in the search field, type in that same phrase. And this window here is one of the features of TubeBuddy. I get an extra window with extra insights into what's a good topic for my video. I'm gonna click here for weighted, and wow, look at that, an excellent 100 out of 100 score. This is definitely a video I should be making for this channel. Lucky for us, I already made this video and I'm ready to upload it to YouTube. Let me walk you through the optimization part. When you upload a video to YouTube, it automatically makes the title whatever the file name was for the video when you exported it. But I know from my keyword research what people are searching, so I'm gonna change the title to that. And I'm gonna add a little bit more detail here so viewers understand better what they're gonna get from this video. The next thing you wanna do is move down to the description window. You wanna type out a keyword rich description because this is what YouTube is going to use to help understand what your video is about. And when I write these descriptions, I try to keep in mind the YouTube algorithm as opposed to a real life human. So I'll repeat a lot of the same phrases over and over and over so YouTube really understands that this video has a very focused topic. And then the other thing you definitely wanna do is add what are called chapters in your video. So just start by typing 0000, and then maybe the topic of your video, and then add in timestamps with more focused micro topics that are contained within your video. Again, I'm repeating the same phrases over and over and over here. Too many people don't take the time to do this. Once you've done all that, you'll wanna add a custom thumbnail to your video. And if you don't have the ability to upload a custom thumbnail, you definitely need to verify your YouTube channel. I will put a link down below with instructions on how to do that. It unlocks a lot of features for you on YouTube and it's free. Then you wanna add your video to a playlist. This also helps YouTube understand what the content is about. Definitely not a step you wanna skip. And then this field here is new. You need to let YouTube know if your video contains any AI generated content, this one does not. And this last field is where you can add metadata tags to your video. Now, YouTube tells us that tagging videos in this way doesn't really help in your optimization. However, I love still taking the time to do this because once this video is live, TubeBuddy gives me insights into how this video will rank for those search terms. If you're qualified for the YouTube Partner Program and your channel is monetized, you'll see these fields as well. And then everyone gets this window here where you can add end screens, and cards to your video. The end screens are great for helping viewers continue to watch your content so you can really get those watch time hours up if you're trying to get monetized. And cards are great if you've referenced other YouTube videos in your content. All right, and for now, I'm going to save this video as unlisted because there's some other stuff I wanna do. Now remember, the next thing we need to think about is enticing viewers to click on our video. YouTube measures what's called the click-through rate. How many people out of 100 are clicking on your thumbnail when it surfaced to them on their YouTube homepage, channel page, or watch page? 
The higher the click-through rate, the more people YouTube will surface this video to. So the name of the game is definitely to increase those click-through rates, but how do you do that? Luckily, the sponsor of today's video, TubeBuddy, has the solution. TubeBuddy has recently rolled out some really cool AI tools to help increase those click-through rates by making your titles and thumbnails more appealing to your viewers. So back in YouTube Studio, on this video in the details sidebar, I've got this button here that says Title Generator. And when I press it, it opens up this window on the right side of my screen. So here's the optimized search term that the Keyword Explorer gave me but I can really fine tune this title by generating ideas. And these titles are generated by ChatGPT, but not like the free version of ChatGPT that I use. It's the latest and greatest paid version of ChatGPT. TubeBuddy has API access to that, so it all integrates together. So I'm gonna scan these titles, and I think I actually like this one. I'm going to hit apply, and automatically it has updated the title for me. Now, the other amazing AI tool that TubeBuddy has rolled out is down here for my thumbnail. I also have this button here that says Thumbnail Analyzer. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to analyze my thumbnail. It gives me a heat map overlay of my thumbnail. What this is telling me is that a human eye would be drawn to this text up here and nothing else. I don't feel like this is a great result, so I'm going to upload an alternate thumbnail to see which one TubeBuddy thinks is better. Now it's going to analyze my second thumbnail and look, it predicts that my new thumbnail will outperform my original. So I'm going to use the selected thumbnail. Now this AI tool gets smarter the more we use it. So please use the thumbnail analyzer on YouTube so we can all have better thumbnails. Now these AI tools are available if you have a legend license of TubeBuddy, but I have good news for you. For a very, very limited time, TubeBuddy is offering 50% off a legend license to my viewers. I'm gonna link to it down in the description box. Do not sleep on this deal because you can see how powerful TubeBuddy is for helping you grow your YouTube. YouTube channel. All right, let's keep talking about enticing your viewers to click on your videos and increase that click-through rate because there's new stuff that YouTube has rolled out. I want to draw your attention to something you may or may not have noticed on the YouTube homepage. In addition to being surfaced an array of thumbnails, if I hover my cursor over one of these thumbnails, the video starts auto-playing and it gives me a sense of what that video is going to look like before I actually click on it. Now, what does this mean for you as a creator? It means that you really need to spice up the first few seconds of your video visually in order to grab that viewer and have them select your video to watch. I've been trying to front load my videos with a lot of motion graphics and camera moves to make them more visually interesting to try to entice the viewer into clicking on my video. Now let's get to the last principle of growing your YouTube channel, which is to keep them watching and increase engagement. Take a look at the analytics of this video I posted a few weeks ago. If we click on over to the engagement tab and scroll down, YouTube gives me a graph to show me what percentage of people continue to watch this video to the end. You want to keep your retention rates as high as possible because just like with your click-through rate, if your video has a high retention rate, YouTube will surface it to more people. And over time, you can start to look at these graphs and really understand what you're doing right and wrong in these videos. If you hover right here over the chart guide, YouTube will tell you what spikes and dips in your retention rates mean. So I have a little peak right here and I can click in this graph and it'll show me exactly what I was talking about in that video. So I know that whatever that topic was is an area of great interest to my viewers. They may have rewatched it more than once or maybe shared it at that point. And so I might go back, look at that content and see how I can expand that into a bigger video in the future. Super helpful. Conversely, if you see a big dip in your retention rate, you want to look at what's happening in that part of the video and like never do that again. So how do you increase this engagement? I like to tease something at the beginning of my video that I'm going to cover later in the video. So for instance, in the video you saw me upload, I do a quiz to see if people can figure out what the correct color is on these cookies. And I promise them that I'll reveal the answer later in the video. In addition to keeping them watching, you also want to encourage engagement on your videos by asking people to leave comments underneath your video on the watch page. And I like to encourage this in a couple different ways. Sometimes I'll ask for feedback 
feedback in a video like, hey, would you guys want to see more about this particular topic? Or I'll be like, hey, do you have any other tips for us that I might have missed in my video? And that always kind of gets the comments section simmering and a lot of activity down there. And that's important for the YouTube algorithm as well. You know, the rules and tools on YouTube are always evolving, but those four principles I outlined at the beginning of this video pretty much stay the same. So if you keep those in mind, you will experience growth on your channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I picked out some other videos I know you're gonna love. I'll see you guys again.